see it on the screen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So our Father is here with all these things that are used as a Sangoma to surrender, to say he does not want. Let's, let's hear from you, Papa. What happened that day? This thing was in your house. Yes, that was after, after priest me, I went home. I have to decide to come after the prophecy yeah after the men of god they protested me i went to home i sorted out everything I decided to, uh, to bring it here i was aware that it's very deep in idolatry that is keeping those things i was not aware you didn't know that these things were in the house and i was not aware of did you come but here i knew that it was very deep in idolatry did you come here with him the first day he came here that day of the prophecy no, no, it means my first time i'm coming here today so I came here to come and actually uh, uh, encourage him on, on this. Uh, uh, you are motivated to surrender. Correct, correct. <laughs> because you are here. You are here. Yes. Is it, if your family, yes, we are here because to our, to our family, nothing has happened. You are here, that's what I'm telling you. Nothing has happened. You, nothing, you, nothing, you, nothing. Are, you are here. I'm a man of God. I'm in a prophet. You are, you, my you ministry, are my business, whatever. You nothing, are here. You are here. Yeah. How, how will a family succeed when? He said there's there's a snail, snail spirit. So I ask him, is it ask him, he had this thing in the house, did they came here? The thing is just like you can't do it. Mr. Benkar. Mr. Benkar. Yes, yes, in his house. Yes, because it was in his house. Yes. And he didn't tell anybody when he came here. It's a contextual game on Facebook. I think it's a scotch. So how did you feel when the prophet came to you? I asked him, how did he feel when the prophet came to him and told him about the clay pots and everything he has in his house? When the prophet, when the prophet, the, 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 the prophet, the prophet, the saw the disc of sitting in such a situation, how come he was sent him? No, sent him, sent him very easy for him to be able to get the disc of the sang. He was very happy because he, he made it at that moment. He knew that you know that was his deliverance. That was free. It was his freedom for what yeah. was coming. <laughs> Let us see the playback again. Let us see the playback. You see, prophets are not sent to arrange and they are not sent to say what is on your mind. This is holding the whole family now. You are alive by God's grace. Thank you. Bless you. Because there is a there's a clay pot. You know, this pot Sangoma use. Yes. Huh? Yes. There's a clay pot you are supposed to be keeping. Okay. You rejected it. Okay, my name of God. They wanted to keep it to you. Okay, my name of God. Because the other time you were attacked, you were very sick. Oh, okay, I'm going to go. Yeah? Okay. Who came with him? No, it's Raphael. Eh? It's a man who's been here a long time. He invited me to come. He said, I think it's one month they're coming here. It's one month you have been coming? Uh, yeah, for one, one, one month. No, wait, this arrow is cancelled. There's something that's probably relevant that I mentioned that maybe he did not mention. At one stage in his life, he was chosen in a family to become a Sangom. In our family, eventually, it was built, uh, what was that, uh, that Sangom as half. Mm. And he was the one that was serving it. it, was, that, it was listen, that's why I said there's something he rejected. Now, he said when he had the prophets, he was shocked. How can the prophet know this? And he said, I think it's time to surrender. That's what the prophetic is for. You should be able to see. It's not for me to say, I'm the sharpest prophet in the world. No. You are competing with your own brother that you are sharper than. 
then you that you are not seen. If you are seen, you will know that you are only more accurate than a Sangoma, not a fellow prophet like you. The, yeah, the competition be, is supposed to be between me and a Sangoma. Say, in this South Africa, there's no Sangoma that can see as far as I see. Any prophet that says, I'm the sharpest in the world, is a false prophet. It's not of God. It's not of God. The spirit of error have entered as prophet. As a prophet, you need to, most of the time to just stop ministry, just go and go for retreat because you are the one that the devil is looking for more than all ministry. Not an apostle is the, the highest target of the devil that he wants to use. Their tongue is prophets. So Papa went home. He said, no, this can only be God. The God I can see. The God I can see. So you have ministry. I don't have a ministry. I've been trying to run a ministry. Each time I start, you know, it collapses. Office I start to collapse. Business collapses. Everything collapses. This know? is the authority in the house, not you. You see, <laughs> you are doing anything to scatter. You can't stand. He was the one chosen in the family. He was the one chosen in the family to do the liberation, to do the, to speak to the dead from the family. He's the one that did Today, your family will be free. Amen. I receive it. And... And listen, any of you here in your family, there's someone housing charms. Anyone in your family housing charms, housing muti, housing concussion to control all of you. I spread their work today. And I remove your name from that altar. I remove your name from that enchantment. I remove your name from that sacrifice. You are totally free from that person. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Because in case, in case you don't know, there's somebody in everybody's house that is Jewish. In every family, there's a pioneer. Every night while you are sleeping, he's carrying stick like Papa. And he's doing this. Shubi, 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 shubi. Imagine Papa doing like this. Imagine Papa doing like this in night. Issue, 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 issue. See, you don't know. But any time they do it again and they call your name, they will catch fire. Yeah. They will now know the meaning of touch not my anointed ones. From today, you are marked for exemption. Amen. And anywhere they put your name before in that clay pot, in that snail, making things to be slow in your life. That's what this snail is for. So that everybody in the family will become slow. This rope you used to tie everyone in the family. I'm praying for you. Anywhere they are using evil rope to tie you, in your father's house, in your mother's house, anywhere they are using snail, Sangoma properties, they will catch fire. I command them to catch fire. Catch fire. That altar catch fire today. And that man and woman that don't want to repent, they shall die with their charm. They shall die on their altar. They will die on that altar. If they mention your name again, if they measure your business, if they measure your children, they will die in the water. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. I spoil the work. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Everyone in the family that was tied there is declared free. In the name of Jesus. They will not come back to attack any, any of you. In the name of Jesus. And may everyone also in your family as you are free. Those that are doing this, may they confess also. Let there be repentance in your family. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm praying for you tonight. I receive. May the resurrection power come upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let there be restoration in your life. Amen. Let there be revival in your life. Amen. Let there be an art pour in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord shall strengthen you. Amen. The Lord shall empower you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be endued with power. Amen. Be endued with power. Amen. Be endued with power. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The absence of power is the presence of frustration. And God does not send without power. Every assignment of God requires power. In Luke 10, from verse 1, he said, After these things, he appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. Then he said to them, The harvest truly is great. But the laborers are few. Therefore, pray that the Lord of the harvest send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way, behold, I send you out as lamb among wolves. Every one of us are sent by God. Amen. And everywhere Jesus will come, he send us first. Yes. Every family Jesus must come, somebody has to go first. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. In Luke 9, from verse 1, he said, Then he called his disciples together and gave them power and authority over demons and to cure diseases. So there are demons in our paths to destiny. He gave them power and authority. So where there's no power, there'll be frustration. Today, may the Lord endure with power. Amen. Every purpose God is sending you to requires power. Every assignment requires power. Your destiny requires power. And if the enemy wants to stop you, they make sure you run before you receive power. You can run before receiving power. That's what the enemy wants. And you only get power in the place of tarrying where you are waiting. He said, wait till you are endued in Acts of the Apostle 1 from verse 7. He said, they should wait in Jerusalem till they are endued with power. And he said to them, it is not for you to know the times or season which the Father has put in his own authority. He said, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem, in Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. So, first of all, he told them to tarry in Jerusalem until they are endued. So, God will tell you to wait until he empowers you. Amen. Because every assignment of God requires the power of God mm. for fulfillment. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, you need power today. Amen. Power is coming upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say receive power. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Give me power. Give me power. Renew your power. Renew your power. In my life. In my life. Reveal your power. Reveal your power. In my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When you are traveling this path of destiny, there's all those you will meet. In different areas of your life. Mm. In Deuteronomy 2 from verse 2. The Bible said. God spoke to Moses. He said you have dwelt too much in this mountain. Move. Not word. You have circled. You have skirted this mountain for so long. That's what happened when there is absence of power. You will be skirting one place. For so long. In Deuteronomy. 3. God also spoke again. See, you have, I think from verse 4, you have scattered this mountain for so long. 
He said, at that time, we took all the cities. That time, that w- he said, there was not a city which we did not take from them. 60 cities of the region. Next verse. Okay, go to 4. Go to chapter 4. He said, we have, take, he said, we have scattered this mountain for so long. Every mountain you have been moving around for years. Today, you are moving past that mountain. Amen. Every mountain you have been going from one circle to another in that mountain, you are moving above that mountain. Amen. Beyond that mountain. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, I receive the grace. I receive the grace to move forward. To move forward from every mountain. From every mountain where I have been moving around. Where I have been moving around. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Deuteronomy four. So two times they were moving around one mountain over and over again. You say, you have moved around this mountain for so long. It's time for you to take another place. God is giving you another direction today. Amen. If you have been moving around the mountain, a way out has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The way out you have been looking for, that way out has come. Amen. You will not remain in that mountain. Amen. It can be a mountain of delay, mountain of setback, mountain of disappointment Mm. mountain of begging Mm. mountain of hardship Mm. you are moving forward from that mountain in the name of jesus amen the bible said in the book of luke 5 uh, luke 5 from verse 1 peter went to fish with an empty he said so it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of god that he stood by the lake of gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake but the fishermen had gone from them and we were were washing their nets then he got into one of the boats which was simon and he asked him to put out from the land and he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat now look at this look at the story there now jesus had multitude looking for him peter had an empty boat that boat was supposed to be filled with fish. So, every time we come to God, we come with our emptiness for him to fill us. Yes, sir. Jesus had the crowd. Mm. He said the multitude were pressing to him. Meanwhile, Peter's boat was empty. Today, every emptiness in your life, Jesus will feel it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You need those vacuums to be filled. Yes, sir. He said, then he said, when he let him into the boat, he said, launch into the deep. When he had stopped speaking, he said, God will always want you to satisfy him before you. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. Be very... Be, be very, listen to what I'm telling you. God wants his satisfaction before you. Everything God wants you to do, he wants you to go after him first. God first. In the beginning, God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Everything we are doing, he knows your boat is empty. He knows you have been fishing. God first. Not money first. God first. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Say in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Again? In, in the, the beginning, beginning, God. In the beginning is what? God. <laughs> it is in the beginning is your job. In the beginning is your money. In the beginning is your house. I was ministering to somebody that said, It's been long you are in church. He said, I got two jobs. I got two job. That's why. I said, don't give all your time to Caesar. And you don't have time for God. Give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. And what belongs to God to God. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Because until we give what belongs to God to God, we will not have what we are supposed to give to Caesar. God first. In every career, God first. In every ministry, God first. So our, 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 our determination is to satisfy God, not to satisfy ourselves. Because you can build Babel and God is not aware. 
So it's a launch into the deep. When he finished speaking, when he finished, he finished using Peter's boat as a pulpit, it's a launch into the deep. Now you can start your business. Then he said, launch out into the deep and let your net for a cash. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toyed all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. Now listen, if there's any area Jesus has not occupied in our life, there will be emptiness there. God wants to be first in every area of our life. Yes, sir. Wherever God, wherever we are sensing emptiness, God is trying to say something. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Emptiness, loneliness, where you are, uh, uh, dryness. Is God trying to communicate? It's not time to work harder. We have toyed all night long, so it's not that we are lazy. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Sometimes God is using that emptiness to get our attention. Mm. God is using dryness to get our attention. Today, God will feel every emptiness in your life. Amen. Every vacuum in your life. Amen. God will feel it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will feel it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will speak why there's an emptiness. Mm. He will reveal he will speak. He will communicate. Why is there a vacuum? Why, is it, why am I not feeling complete? Why am I not feeling satisfied? There is something missing. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. And Jesus has it. Whatever is missing in our life, Jesus has it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is saying the answer to that prayer has come. Amen. The answer to that crying has come. Amen. The answer to that affliction has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The answer to that crying, that sorrow has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every emptiness in your life, every vacuum in your life, God is saying something concerning that emptiness. God is speaking forth concerning that vacuum. Amen. And God is filling it up Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will fill you until you overflow. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see overflow in that emptiness. Amen. I see overflow in that dryness. Amen. I see overflow in that confusion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Are we ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. So then when they have done this, they caught a great number. Listen, everything that makes you to come to this platform, you came empty, but you shall go with a great number. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You look, you are feeling empty, you are feeling dried, you are feeling confused. Life is very boring to you. You came empty, but you shall not return empty. Amen. May God visit you right now. Amen. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, may the Lord begin to locate you now. Amen. Locate that your business. Amen. Locate that your family. Amen. Locate that your career. Amen. Locate that your issue. Amen. Locate your health. Amen. Locate your health. Amen. Locate your health. Amen. Locate your marriage. Amen. Locate your marriage. Amen. Locate your marriage. Amen. Locate your career. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, oh God. God arise. Oh God arise. Locate my life. Locate my life. Let me not return empty. Let me not return In the name empty. of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Jesus is filling you up today. He's filling up the gap. He's filling up the sorrow. He's filling up the joblessness. He's filling up your prayerlessness. Those are weakness. He's filling it up. He's filling it up. He's filling it up. In the name of Jesus. God will become your strength. God will become your strength. God will become your power. In the name of Jesus. Whether you are sitting in darkness. Whether you are sitting in confusion, God is coming for your rescue. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Micah, it said, Rejoice not over me, my enemy. When I fall, 
he said i will rise again he said when i'm in darkness the lord shall be a light to me i am praying for you anywhere you are following rise again rise again rise again that business that fallen that family that is falling apart rise again rise again in the name of jesus and anywhere you are sitting in darkness let there be light let there be light let there be light in your life in your family let there be light let there be light in the name of jesus say every area of my life where there is darkness where there is emptiness let there be light let there be light open your mouth and pray that prayer let there be light let there be light let there be light in your life let there be light everywhere there's darkness everywhere you are sitting in darkness let there be light let there be light let there be light let there be light in your life let there be light in your family in jesus name we pray god we anoint your name amen anoint your business anoint everything that concerns you Amen. anoint your career Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. god will come for your help Amen. the bible said in the book of osi say multitude multitude are in the valley of decision mm. valley of decision is when you don't know what to do when you are confused multitude are there they don't know where to go mm. they don't know what to do they feel frustrated mm. they don't know where their destiny is going the plan of God is for you not to know where you are going. If you know where you are going, it's not God that is leading you. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Okay, if not, <laughs> you don't know. If you know where you are going, you have it on your, you have the map of where you are going. It's not God that is leading you. God does not give you the map of where you are going. He only tells you where he wants to take you to. Then you say, follow me. You say what? Follow, follow me. me. That's me of I'm the way. That's why I find the disciples say, Follow me, I will make you. So God does not give you the, the road map to where you are going. He does not give you the final destination. The Bible says Abraham followed God, not knowing where, not knowing where he was going. He carried his whole family in Hebrew 11. He carried his whole what? Family. His whole family. Not knowing where he was going. He said God was taking him to a city which the builder and the maker is God. So by faith, he, carried, he was moving from tent to tent. God did not say, I'm taking you to London. He didn't say, I'm taking you to America. He just said, carry your bag, follow me. That is how to follow God. I mean, sometimes you can see yourself shadow boxing, shadow following, and you don't know where your life is going. God is leading you. Are you, yes, <laughs> are you hearing me? Yes, yes, sir. The proof that it is God is that you don't know. Because, you see, God has made us sons and he has made us God. The only sovereignty, some of the sovereignty God has over us is he knowing the end. And we don't know. So Jesus said, even the rapture, only the father knows, not even the angels, not even him himself. Only the Father knows the end. So there are some destination that only God knows. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yeah. That is what makes him sovereign. Your destiny, destination also, only God knows. Mm. So like the prophet Ezekiel, when God asks you, do you think you can be great? Then you will say, Lord, thou knowest. God asks the prophet, can this bone live again? He said, Lord, thou knowest. You must understand that there are some things that only God knows. Then God said, okay, prophesy to that bone. If you read your Bible, God always wants us to ask questions. 
when John found himself in heaven, they gave him a scroll and they showed him some things. The elders were asking him, he said, do you understand this thing? He would say, no, I don't understand. Even Daniel, anytime we always claim to know, God is not the one leading you. Are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. Mm. Anytime we are the one making the way ourselves, God is not the one leading. Imagine God is leading you and he's, he didn't tell you where you are going tomorrow. Every day you just wake up. He just say, just believe me. Just believe me. You are Abraham. You carry your family. You carry your wife. Everything. Today you sleep here. Next tomorrow you say, move again to that place. Next tomorrow you say, move again. And he's telling him to pitch his tent everywhere. He's, he's, he's taking him to a city which builder is God. That city he does not know. It's a city of faith. It's a city that all the children of faith will be produced. That's where he was taking him to. Say, for he waited for the city which foundation, whose builder and maker is God. <laughs> That's how you are standing up every morning. He say, hey, okay, Abraham, wake up. Now move. He move. Hey, sleep here, sleep. My dear, anyway, you are hearing me. If your life looks as if there's confusion, it's God that's leading you. I'm telling you with full assurance. <laughs> I go to verse 9. Go to verse 9. He said, By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out of the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. <laughs> He said, where are we going? I don't know. His wife will ask him, where would they go? I don't know. His children, his servants will say, where are we going? I don't know. His family will ask him, where are you going? I don't know. Then why are you moving? God said I should move. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. They said, some people were traveling some time ago and all of them inside the bus, they were making calls. This was, they were going to one destination. They say. They are going to um, Johannesburg. Now, this one inside the car make call. He said, say, where are you? He said, I'm in Europe. I'm about to enter Spain from Germany. They call this other one. This one said, I'm in Durban. They call this other one. This one said, I'm in Lagos. I want to go to... I'm, I'm in Lagos now. I'm trying to board a flight. They said, the driver came down and said, wait, wait. Where are we going? I'm, co <laughs> I'm confused now. Where are we going? So, if you know where you are going, it's not God that is leading you. That's why I say, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. So, that is the only way out. You just trust and obey. It's not that you know where you are going. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes. So, I pray for you today. I receive. I receive. May you not doubt the leading. Amen. May you not doubt the leadings. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is leading you somewhere. Amen. Leading your family somewhere. Amen. Leading your career somewhere. Amen. You might not know the place, but he's taking you to a better place. Amen. You will not miss your place. Amen. You will not miss your place. Amen. Everywhere you think there's a closed door. God is saying there's a new door for you. Amen. There's a new door for you. Amen. There's a new door for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I came with a word from God to you. You are not wasting your time. Amen. You will get there. Amen. You will get there. Amen. You will get there. Concerning your marriage, you will get there. Concerning your family, you will get there. Concerning your business, you will get there. Concerning your ministry, you will get there. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God said I should tell you, believe. I am the way. Mm. I am the way. Yes, sir. If you know you have the way, you are not lost. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Wherever you are now, share that broadcast. So that God will take you to where you will go. Because you don't know where you are going. You can't tell me where you are going. Even life you are living today, life, nobody knows where it's going in life. Tomorrow, God can say, okay, carry your things. Travel again to this place. 
carry your things, travel here. You see? That's how life is. So we know we are only trusting who is leading us. So, you see, God called us many things. God called us lions. God called us light. God called us salt. One thing God also called you is a sheep. And when he call you sheep, it means there's a dimension that you just follow, you don't ask. A sheep does not ask, where are we going? I'm confused. A sheep can see, they say sheep is the only animal that sheepishly follow each other. If they are passing here now, and if they come to this place, they will fall and die. All of them, if one fall die, the rest will be falling like that. They will be falling. They don't care. So you have to sheepishly follow God. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You have to what? Sheepishly follow God. <laughs> so you must only you always hear that Christians don't have sense. It's true. <laughs> any, any Christian that has sense is not following God. Christians are not permitted to have sense. You see, because God call it sensual wisdom. Is the earthly wisdom. We don't have sense. We have revelation. You are not hearing me. I hear you, sir. We don't have sense. We have the wisdom of God. He said, and this wisdom is not sensual wisdom. The kind of wisdom that men give. This wisdom is from God. So some people say, when the Muslims, they were entering church, they remove their shoe and enter. When Christians were entering, they removed their brain, their mind, and enter. Anyway, it might look. Some are saying it as motivational teachers to say many Christians are not thinking anymore. But the truth is, you can't follow God rational, and you are and you are you are normal. You can rationalize. Where yeah, will you say God is taking you to now? If you are Abraham, you are old man. He's telling you, carry your family and start moving. A right thinking man will not move. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yeah, if you rationalize properly, God does not work with rationalizing. That's why one of my greatest strengths, I won't call it weakness, is choosing. If I see two nine something, I'll buy the two. It's not me to say, yeah, just take this, this one. I'll, I'll say, Give me the two. Give me the two. <laughs> I don't rationalize. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Because that's how God trained me. If you still have choice, you can still say, uh, is this one that's my choice? Then you don't know. If those close to me always know that, I'm always asking, these two, which one? Let's carry them. Because God does not rationalize. If God is giving you something, I will not say, hmm... Let me give you wife today, tomorrow give you money. No. God give you everything at once. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So sometimes they can tell you to wait for a season. You are waiting. Then you'll be calculating, okay, now I'm not married. And you're a woman, you are up to 40. Now you say, or 35. I say, when will I marry, have children, do this, you are counting. Now, God can decide that you will marry at 40 or 41 and you have triplets in the next year. Then it will make you live longer so that you will train them. When it comes to God, you don't rationalize. You see, why many Christians are frustrated today? We are rationalizing when it comes to God's leading. We rationalize with years, rationalize with time, and we rationalize by comparing our life with the life of other people. So we have to absolutely depend on Him. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Before you say God is your shepherd, meaning you don't have sense again, you just follow. You just what? Follow. follow. Peter had family. All these many of these disciples, Jesus carried and was moving around up and down. They are family. And he said, Follow me, I will make you. 
they left their family. Peter said, we have left all and follow you. What will be our reward? If you have not left all, you can't follow God. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> he said, whosoever is following me and his hand, he, he, he put his hand in his plan and he's still looking back. It's not worthy to be a disciple. It's not worthy. I came with a word for you today. You are not being misled. Amen. In fact, you have arrived. Amen. As far as you are walking with God, you will not miss way. Amen. You will not miss way. Amen. Your family will not miss way. Amen. Your destiny will not miss way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As say, as I don't know where I'm going. As I don't know where I'm going. It is God that is leading. It is God that is leading. Say it. As I don't know where I'm going. It is God that is leading. Say it. As I don't know where I'm going. It is God that is leading. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. you are not lost, you are found. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, angels of favor. Angels of favor. Locate me. Locate and me. change my story. Change my story. I, command. I command. Let the angels of favor. Angels locate of favor. me tonight. Locate and, me change tonight. and change my story. Locate me tonight. And change my story. Locate me tonight. And change my story. Hope your mother prayed that prayer. Angels of favor, look at me, change my story. Let the angels of favor locate you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for you. I receive the angels that will change your labor to favor. May they locate your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When it is labor, you work hard. And when it is favor, you work wise. God give you wisdom beyond the natural. I am praying for you. I receive the wisdom that will make you walk and give you speed. Make you walk wise. 
and give you speed may it come upon you today Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. let it come upon you today Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. let it come upon you today Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. you will not be denied of your destiny Amen. you will not be denied of your inheritance Amen. you will not be denied of your career Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. you will not be a laughing stock in your family Amen. you will not be a laughing stock in your generation Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. your god will be celebrated Amen. your god will not be mocked Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. say my god cannot be mocked so i will not be mocked i decree upon your life every situation in your life that want to bring mockery as far as you serve a god that cannot be mocked you shall not be mocked Amen. you shall not be mocked Amen. you will not see shame Amen. you will not see embarrassment Amen. you will not see defeat Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. god will fight for you Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. you will be celebrated Amen. you shall not be mocked Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. say i reject mockery several times I reject mockery. yes i reject mockery i reject mockery I reject mockery. I reject mockery. I reject mockery. I reject mockery. Say every power, every power of hardship, a sign against my life. Scatter, 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 scatter. Command to scatter every power of hardship, a sign against my life. Command to scatter. Yes, 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 yes. Every power of hardship assigned against your life. Command them to scatter. Scatter, 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 scatter. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter, scatter, scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. I speak to that hardship in your life. I speak to that hardship in your career. I speak to that hardship in your destiny. Today I command the yoke of the hardship to scatter 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 sc
from our families from our life from our career that arrow of failure at the age of breakthrough be your protect from our life from our family in the name of jesus say we command favor that bring promotion come upon our life come upon our family so come upon our life come upon our family hope your mother give the praise that favor that bring promotion come into our life let that favor come upon you let that favor come upon you Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Anywhere you are, stand up and take this prayer. Lay your right hand on your head while you are taking this prayer. He said, He anointed my head with oil, my cup runs over. And please, if you have not shared the broadcast, make sure you share it. Wake up somebody, and the Lord is going to bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you ready? Pray that lay your right hand on your head. The anointing that brings overflow. The anointing that brings overflow. Let it come upon me. Let it come upon me. The anointing that beautifies. The anointing that beautifies. Let it come upon my life. Let it come upon my life. The anointing that brings overflow. The anointing that brings overflow. Let it come upon my life. Let it come upon my life. Open your mouth. I'm going to prophesy upon yourself. The anointing that beautifies overflow my life. The anointing that celebrates overflow my life. The anointing that beautifies. Let it overflow your life. The anointing that overflow beautify my life. The anointing that overflow. Yes, 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 yes. Let that anointing that beautify your life, that beautify your destiny, overflow you now. Overflow. Let it overflow your life.
Luke 8, 43. Now a woman having a flow of blood. Other translations say issue of blood. Issues of blood. It's talking about issues of life. The Bible says life is in the blood. So issues of life. Say she has spent for good 12 years who has spent all her livelihood on physician and could not be healed by any because that's listen where the sickness have gone to a physician and cannot be healed a spirit is behind it there's a life-giving spirit there that is propelling it she has spent all her livelihood. She has done everything she knows. But now he said, there is a spirit that is causing it. It's a spirit of infirmity. This one is not because of hygiene or because the doctors don't know what they are doing. It is because the doctor cannot detect the spirit. There are some challenges in our life that spirits are responsible for. They are sitting there. There are some sickness that spirits are responsible for. And woe betide anyone sleeping in the hospital when it's a spirit that is the cause. Just imagine the madman in Gadara. If that man, they put him in a psychiatric home and his legions of demons that is causing it. It's not because he smoked drugs. It's a legion of what? Demons. Yeah, you take him now. You say you are taking him to rehab. You are taking him to therapist. There are some situations in your life that are caused by demons, mm. and every demon cause problem in your life. Today we cast out such demons. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to command every arrow of sickness and infirmity in our life. That sickness can be sickness in your career, in your business. A spirit is the cause. Demon is the cause. And I'm commanding any issue of your life that demon is the cause. Let that demon come out now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say arrows of sickness, arrows of sickness and, infirmity. and infirmity. I command you. Backfire. 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 Command it to backfire. Command it to backfire. Every arrow of sickness and infirmity in your body. Bad fire, bad fire. to bad fire, command to bad fire. Backfire, backfire, backfire. Arrows of sickness and infirmity. I command it to backfire. I'm <laughs> 
In our prosperity. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I say God is interested in what? Our prosperity. Yes. There's a spirit that comes upon you. There's a grace that comes upon you for prosperity. Because somebody once said, if you give an ordinary man one million he said, it does not make him a millionaire. Is if somebody can create an investment of a million, that is, that is when he's a millionaire. So it does, it's not money that makes you a millionaire. It's for you to be able to create. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, because you can give somebody a million now. It's not, he can squander it. So there's a grace that comes upon you to be. Mm. There's knowledge that comes to be. There are wisdom that comes upon you to be. And there are grace, there are favor, there are anointing that comes upon you to be. When God blessed Abraham, it was the grace, the enabling grace to be. So when he went to Egypt and that's the king saw Sarah there. He said he wanted to marry Sarah. And Abraham said, Sarah, brother. Then he gave Abraham gold, cattle, everything. So he paid bright price for a person's wife. Now God said, don't touch that man. Don't touch that lady. If you touch, that's my prophet. If you touch the wife, you die. Then he woke up in the morning and said, why did you tell me he's your wife? Abraham said, it's true, true, she's my half-sister. That's why. Now the man did not take back the bright price. So Abraham's first riches was fake bright price. <laughs> it's called the enabling grace. When it comes upon you, it will drive you to where they will give you bright price that you, they are not supposed to pay you. And they won't take it back from you. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. May they give you that bright price. Amen. Uh, somebody <laughs> they say Amen. <laughs> That's what this grace does. That enabling grace. It will always carry you to places where you don't really need to do much mm. to get what you are looking for. For example, when that grace was on J Jacob, when he was taking care of his own uh, sheep, his own was increasing. And the uncle's own was decreasing. And even when he was running away, the uncle ran after him. He said, I have discovered that it is because of you that my house is blessed. So I don't want you to go. Somebody that came empty-handed 
but he came with a, a grace an enabling grace mm. in Deuteronomy 28 from verse 12 God said he will open the, in the treasures of heaven there's a treasures of heaven I will open to you he said the Lord will open to his good treasure the heavens to give rain to your land in its, in its season and bless all the work of your hand you see that so even if you go to that's Abraham's hand work was blessed. So that's why if he go to somewhere, they, they carry his wife, they pay him for his wife. For example, um, Moses' mother was jobless. When she gave birth to Moses, put the boy in the sea. Now when when Pharaoh's daughter saw the child, Moses' sister said. Miriam said, do you need a nurse to take care of this child? Boy? The, the, the woman said, yes. So Moses' mother was being paid to take care of him. That's what the enabling grace does. It's not only being smart that makes you rich. There's an enabling grace. Mm. I'm praying for you. I Let that grace come upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The enabling grace that will shift you from the bottom to the top. Amen. Let it come to your life. Amen. That will separate you from begging to giving. Let it come upon your life. Amen. From borrowing to lending. Let it come upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May that enabling grace that will drag your family from the back and take you to the top. Let it come upon you. 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 In the name of Jesus. That your life that look as if you don't know where you are going. This grace that is coming upon you will lead you to the right place. We lead you to the right people. In the name of Jesus. It will bring you out of poverty. That poverty of your father's house. Poverty of your foundation. You are coming out of that poverty. You are coming out of that poverty. Amen. You are coming out. Amen. You that is owing debt. That grace is coming upon you. Amen. You will pay all your debt. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You that is borrowing. That grace is coming upon you. Amen. You will pay all your debt. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You that don't know how to pay your school fees. You don't know how to pay your white bride price. You don't know how to pay your rent. That grace is coming upon you today. Amen. Let doors of finance open for you. Amen. Open for you. Amen. Open for you. Amen. Open for you. Amen. Let there be an enabling grace Amen. that will drag you Amen. to where there is finance, Amen. to where there is breakthrough, Amen. to where there is wealth. Amen. Let it drag people that matters to your life. Amen. Wealthy people to your life. Amen. People will break you to your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. say, I need the enabling grace. Of prosperity. of prosperity I need the enabling grace a breakthrough of, break of wealth in the name of Jesus amen. a seven for the man say I shall not borrow I shall lend to nations hope your mother begin to decree it I shall not borrow I shall not borrow. I shall not borrow. I shall lend to nations. Let thy enabling grace come. Pray. Let thy enabling grace. Let your grace come. Let your enabling grace 
Prophesy it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Proverbs 8 from verse 11. He said, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. He said, I, wisdom, dwell with the prudence. I found that knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogance, and the evil way, and the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. By me, kings reign, and rulers decree justice. The Bible said in verse, 9, in verse 18, it said, Riches and honor are with me. So if we are looking for this wisdom, this wisdom have riches and honor. Riches is in wisdom. Honor is in wisdom. He said, enduring riches and righteousness. There's riches, there's enduring riches. When, it's, when you have riches, it's for you. Enduring riches is generational. Mm. He said, wisdom said, I have it with me. Mm. Verse 22, he said, the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his ways. Before his work of old, I have been established from everlasting. From the beginning, before there was ever an earth. When there was no depth, I was brought forth. When there was no fountain, abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. Why as yet he had not made the earth or the field or the primal dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he drew the cycle on the face of the deep. When he established the cloud above. And when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. When he assigned to the seas limit, so that the waters would not transgress his command. And he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was beside him as a master craftsman. I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his inhabited world. And my delight was with the sons of men. Meaning wisdom is a developer. Mm. Anywhere there's no development, take wisdom there. He said when God was creating this world, when there was water, fountain, mountain, and everything was in quagmire, he gave instruction and direction. So if there's no development in our life, we need the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom brings development, increase, and change in everything we do. So today, God is giving our life that wisdom Amen. that will bring development Amen. to our life, Amen. to our destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say wisdom that brings transformation. Wisdom that brings Come upon my life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Wisdom that brings transformation. Manifest in my life. Manifest in my life. Yes, yes, yes. Wisdom that brings transformation. Manifest in my life. Wisdom that brings transformation. Wisdom that brings transformation. 
Let the wisdom that brings transformation manifest in your life, manifest in your career, manifest in your ministry, manifest in your family. Wisdom that brings transformation, wisdom that brings development. Ragabekozizebekagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
on your bed. And when you wake up, you begin to meditate on that thought. Wherever you are, if you know there's no thought in your head, you have to share. If the enemy has not given you thought, because the more you share and like that broadcast you are watching, the more people it gets to. Let these thoughts come to your head. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Maybe you didn't know before, now I'm telling you. If you press like, the more you press like, the more YouTube will carry your video far to more people. You are evangelizing by pressing like, by sharing. So let that thought come to your head. So thought coming to your head is an idea projected to your mind. While we are asleep, when this sense realm is short, spirits give us informations. Some wrong information, some good information. So if the demon want to corrupt your destiny, your future, because they know that that is the eyes you used to see your destiny, they put a wrong thought on your bed. But I'm praying for you. I receive every spirit, arrows, causing negative dreams in your life, they shall come out. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say arrow of corruption. Arrow of corruption. In my dream life. In my dream life. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come out by fire. Come on, by fire. Arrow of corruption in my dreams. I command you. Command them out. Command them out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There are some prophetic words you are going to say right now, wherever you are, stand up on your feet. You will be saying this prophetic word very well. Let every nation hear you. Let every kingdom hear you. Amen. As you are going to be prophesying it, you are going to be seeing it in your life. Amen. Rise up on your feet wherever you are. It is time to prophesy. Yes. As we are prophesying, believe what you are saying. Amen. Accept what you are saying. Amen. And you will see the testimony of God in your life. Amen. Say miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders shall be my Lord forever. Shall be my Lord forever. Miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders shall be my Lord forever. Shall be my Lord forever. Meaning, whatever you do, wherever you go, anywhere you find yourself, miracle signs and wonders will be the order of the day. Amen. Anything you put your hand. Miracle signs and wonder will be the order of the day. Amen. Say miracle, miracle. Signs, signs and wonder, and wonder. Shall, be shall be my Lord forever by the power, by the power. In, the in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, say seven for the man. Amen. 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 Say health breakthrough. Health breakthrough. Marriage breakthrough. Marriage Career breakthrough, financial breakthrough, all round breakthrough. Lord, get my life. Health breakthrough, marriage breakthrough, 
career breakthrough financial breakthrough all around breakthrough hear the word of the lord locate my life locate my life locate my family locate my life locate my life locate my family in the name of jesus a seven for the man command my life I command my life to reflect the glory of God to reflect the glory of God can you say it again I command my life to reflect the glory of can God can you say it again I command my life yes to reflect the glory say three of God. more times I command my life yes to reflect the glory say of God say it again I command my life to reflect the glory of God yes I command my life in the name of Jesus, amen. a three for the man. Amen. 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 Say, my seat of greatness, my seat of greatness is, restored. is restored. In the name of Jesus, amen. say, my seat of greatness, seat of greatness is, restored. is restored. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. my seat of greatness. Is restored. Can you say it several times? My seat of greatness yes. is restored. My seat of greatness is restored. My seat of greatness is restored. Prophesy. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Something is going on. My seat of greatness is restored. Prophesy. My seat of greatness is restored. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say family celebration. Family Locate my family this year. My family this year. If you are praying this prayer very well, your family must celebrate this year. Amen. Your, your family will gather to celebrate. Amen. They will not gather to cry again. Amen. They will gather to open a new house. Amen. They will gather for marriage. Amen. They will gather for new jobs, Amen. new cars, Amen. new babies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say family celebration. Family Locate my family this year. Can you prophesy several times? Family celebration. Locate my family this year. Family celebration. Locate my Say it loud and clear. Family celebration. Yes. Locate my family this year. Family celebration. Locate my family this year. Prophesy, prophesy. Family celebration. Locate my family this year. Open your mouth and prophesy. Family celebration. Locate my family this year. Family celebration. Look at my family this year. If you believe what you are just saying, it's seven for the man. Amen. 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 Lift up your right hand and prophesy this with only aggression. Say, I will remain at the top. I will remain at the top. I will never go down. I will are you ready to prophesy? Lift up your right hand and prophesy. Say, I will remain at the top. I will remain at the top. I will never go down. I will never Can go you prophesy several times? I will remain at the top. I will never go down. I will remain at the yes, top. Yes, 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 yes. I will never go down. I will remain at the top. I will never go down. Prophesy. I will remain at the top. I will never go down. I will remain at the top. I will never go down. Yes, yes, yes. I will remain at the top. So I prophesy to your lifted hands. It is those that have won a battle that they raise up their hand. Those that are champions that are the ones that they raise up their hand. I pray for that hand that is lifted up. It will forever be lifted up. Amen. You have won the battle. Amen. Your family have won the battle. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A seven for the man. Amen. 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 Tell yourself congratulations seven times. Congratulations. Con yes. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us share the grace. The, the grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely. His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Remember our one-on-one -on -one 
our Easter service Thursday and Friday. It's coming up. People are gathering from different places. Everywhere is already packed. So the place is already filled. So make sure you are there. It's a day that God will turn every bad thing in your life to good. From bad experience, bad marriage, bad career, bad destiny, to good. Good Friday, good marriage, good career, good spiritual life. Thank you very much. God bless you. Salem.